Hi, welcome to this tutorial on trigonometric identities. I'm going to introduce you to two basic identities that we use in trigonometry to help solve trigonometric equations. Now, if we had a circle with a radius of 1 and our triangle here with sides x and y for some angle theta, Theta can change as we move around the circle. We've got the triangle in the first quadrant at the moment. Here it is in the second quadrant. And in the third quadrant. And finally the fourth quadrant. Each time Y represents the vertical displacement and X represents the horizontal displacement. Let's go back to the first quadrant. Now we know that from basic trigonometry the sine of an angle is defined as the opposite side over the hypotenuse. Y being the opposite side and the hypotenuse being 1. So sine theta would equal Y divided by 1, the opposite over the hypotenuse. But Y divided by 1 is simply Y. So what we have got is that y equals sine theta. Similarly, if we do the cosine of theta, cosine of theta, or cos theta for short, is defined as the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, x over 1. And it would follow that x must equal cosine theta. And we use these ideas to sketch the graphs of sine theta and cos theta for any value of theta from 0 to 360 degrees and beyond, or even in the negative sense from 0 through to minus 360 degrees and beyond. Now, by Pythagoras' theorem, we know that this side squared plus this side squared always equals the hypotenuse squared. So we know that x squared plus y squared will equal 1. But we know that x is cos theta. So cos theta, if we were to square it, plus y, which is sine theta, sine theta, if we were to square that, would come to 1. Now we don't tend to write this as cos theta all squared, there's another way that we write it. It's written as cos squared theta. And for this one, it would be sine squared theta. And this comes to 1. Now in fact, this is true for any value of theta. Not only between 0 and 90 degrees, any value of theta you like. So we say that this is not an equation, it's true for all values of theta. So we write this symbol, three lines, the identical sign. And try it on your calculator. Put any angle for theta that you like. Say 100 degrees even. Do the cosine of 100 degrees, square it, plus the sine of 100 degrees, square it, you'll get 1. It doesn't matter what angle you use, as long as these angles obviously are the same. So this is one identity that you need to learn. So we'll just highlight this. And the other identity is the fact that if we do the opposite side divided by the adjacent side, that's defined as tan theta. So tan theta is the opposite side y over x. But we can see that y is sine theta and x is cos theta. So we have this identity that tan theta is identical to sine theta divided by cos theta. And this is true for all values except when cos theta is zero. Okay, 
Well, do try and learn these two identities and in further tutorials I'll show you how we can use them.